Alrighty, welcome back for Baby Friday. Morgan Mojo Dojo, this is his name. He's so cute. He's so cute. How old is he? He is about two years old and there is no doubt that he is absolutely adorable, especially when he puts these little ears up, which I'm wearing all black, so you, he looks like he's blended into me today. Yeah. But he is just a cutie pie. No, like what is he? He's a mix. Yes, right? so we have him listed as a Chihuahua mix. Mm -hmm. um, Clearly, he is not fully a chihuahua. He's right. definitely got some interesting features with the eyes, the ears, and that little face. And he's got the shortest little legs. He stands up um, very much below your knee, about like yeah. halfway to your shin. I really want um, people to see him on the he's ground. He's just like, a little low rider. He's so cute. So cute. Like corgi legs. Yeah, almost. very much like corgi legs. So who knows? He could have some corgi in him. He could just be like chihuahua, maybe some pity. We really never know. So yeah. it's always about their temperament and everything but he's uh, full grown um, and he is about uh, less than 25 pounds two years old so definitely a small dog oh, yeah so who would Mojo Dojo be good for Mojo Dojo is a really sweet dog when he comes around. He can be a little bit nervous at first, um, and it, he does seem more intimidating because of his all black features. Yeah. He is not at all. Um, he it's just needs a second not. to warm up to you, and yeah. he's an absolute sweetheart. Um, when he starts playing, his ears go back, and it looks like his head is totally round like the moon. <laughs> I wish we had a video <laughs> of that because that he sounds awesome. is an absolute goof when he gets around. He does like other dogs, so he would really do well in any home um, that is just willing to give him that time and space to decompress and really come around because um, he would do well in an apartment especially if you live in an apartment and maybe have size or breed restrictions yeah. looking at him could be a good fit for you yeah because he's small enough he doesn't seem to have a whole bunch of energy like not like the yeah he's definitely over his puppy phase um, when he does get playing it's adorable and he has energy but for the most part he's a pretty chill guy wow Alrighty, and then remind us again about Night to Paws. Yes, so our A Night to Paws annual gala will be on June 1st, um, and we are looking for sponsors and donors for auction items always. And our tickets are now on sale, so if you want to go check out the Humane Society's website or send us an email looking for more information, we can give you all the details on that. It should be a wonderful night. We've already gotten some super great auction items for the silent <laughs> auction, so you'll definitely want to be there to be able to bid on those. Uh, and what exactly will people be going there for? So um, it are it's our annual gala that supports the Humane Society, being that we are a nonprofit, we're 100% donation based. Um, so this is uh, one of our biggest um, events, our fundraisers that provides funding for most of the year. Gotcha. Um, okay. It's more of an upscale event, um, yeah. but we will be potentially having puppies out there this oh, year to walk around. Of course, you so, have to. Um, dinner is provided, it is at the Hilton, um, and it's a lovely night to really just show how much we care about the animals in Eastern NC and how much we're do gonna do to support them. Wonderful. Alrighty. Well, hopefully Mojo Dojo is not at night to pause because somebody, he finds his forever he's home, gonna right? He's going to get snatched up before then, like, for sure. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect for anybody with, you're right, with a small apartment because I know that can be an issue for a lot of people. And how is he with like barking, tearing things up. Does he do any of that? Or? So um, he hasn't been in a home yet in our care, so we don't fully know. But so far in our facility, he's been pretty chill. Yeah. Um, he's not super destructive. Um, he doesn't bark too much. When he does bark, you would yeah. actually be surprised. He has like a big dog bark. Really? He sounds like a full grown <laughs> big dog, yeah. um, but he doesn't do it that much. He's definitely <laughs> not a nuisance barker. He does well in a crate, and um, so far he's shown a lot of positive signs towards being house trained. So it would just take somebody to get him in that routine. Alrighty. Well, Morgan, thank you so much. That's all the time that we have for today. If you are interested in Mojo Dojo, you can reach out to the Humane Society. But for now, don't go anywhere because we'll have more ENC at 3 right after the break.